Hi Virgo, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now this is the uh, life after the retrograde specials. Let's take a look if you're already with the right one or if there's still more to look forward to in the future. Have you already found your soulmate? What are your karmic debts? What are the things that's still looming and hanging in the horizon for you? And what are the things that you need to resolve in order for you to fully move on? Let's take a look. You were a former scholar, okay? You were you're the kind of person who's gifted with so much wisdom and intelligence. And I feel like you married somebody who is way older than you. Okay, more likely either a mother or father figure. And you have meant you have married your mentor. Now right after getting married, you took off and uh, relocated into another place. But there are some essential things that you still have in your mind and in, that you haven't had in your life. And you've been thinking about this, that right after giving birth, you have decided to leave. Okay, you have decided to take off and uh, pursue another life path. Leaving somebody broken and jaded. And it seems like you have gone through a lot of difficulties that there was somebody who, um, who aided you and who saved you from you know going through self-destruction and it's like you know uh you're a very intelligent person but at the same time you also feel so conscientious of what you have done because right after giving birth you just left your your spouse left a note and took off without even you know without even saying anything without any further explanations as to why and you have tried to you know, um, create your own path just to prove to this person that your decision was right. You feel like that you have been so impulsive and um, let the current of emotions and love flow through you and that's why you've married so early that you did not even had a chance to explore what's more inside of you or what's more ahead of you. Since that you're a very intelligent person, you want to pursue your own career, you know, during that time. And this was during the 1600s or 1300s, something like that. And you feel so stuck in that memory, okay? You feel so stuck in that past of yours until that you have met somebody in that place which is, I feel like, around Paris. And even though you've been going through a lot of stuff, you know, like starvation, you don't have any money, and you have also tried all sorts of uh, way of living. And during that time, life in, life in Europe or life in Paris isn't that, you know, l luxurious or gracious or something like that. Everyone is going through strife, and you're, you're one of them okay but you're very crafty you're very intelligent and you're very i know that like the three times I've all, that i've already said intelligent but you're very crafty you're very creative and you know that there are a lot more things that you want to do with your hands with your mind with your creativity and everything else that there's something else that you want to prove to yourself that you are just more than a housewife that you can be more than just a mother or a wife okay and you have relied much in your faith about, you know, about uh, the karma that you will be incurring and that you will be suffering soon. However, with that promise that you will be returning and that you will be coming back for your, uh, for your husband and for your child did not really happen because you have already had a second family. Okay? And after all those years... You have already forgotten about that, um, about that promise until 
that when you're over the old and you get sick this uh, this child of yours have tried looking for you and well, fortunately you know he found you during the time that you're already bedridden with health I mean with uh, some health illness and it seems like you have lived well you got sick at the age of 52 and been sick for like 10 to 11 years and right after it seems like there was some forgiveness that has been restored but the forgiveness from the other spouse of yours who have loved you and taught you all the things that he knows um, he had never forgiven you he was still around when your when your son tried looking for you and aside from that I nothing actually you know nothing bad actually happened with your second family except that you were so full of guilt okay and it's like you also lived in depression and um, a lot of anxiety during the time because you um, you know that you have done something wrong in your past and you have left your first family that your other uh, spouse aren't really aware of you know the second spouse and everything else just spurs up or everything else just you know came out in the open during the time that your son have found you and uh, came looking for you now this is the reason why that there has been some breakage and um, there are some you know some separation so it came it came down to that you left somebody and then somebody left you when they found out that you did not really tell them the truth right after how many years of being together and you've had two kids with your second spouse now you have a lot of fears okay and it seems like you have a very high ambition you know you want high security you want um because you have lived in a very you know um not really poor but more likely just average family and you want to have more and sadly that you just fell in love with somebody who had taught you a lot of things and you know that is also the first pl you know that is also the first thing that uh, made you fall in love with that person because they are full of knowledge and um full of information and this is what you really want However, during the time that you're really ready to bloom and the time comes that you are, you know, ready for a new beginnings and the new challenges in life, you thought or you have started planning and thinking that I can't just let my life go by like this and I cannot just sit in one corner of my house cooking for my husband, waiting for my husband to come while I can't, I'm not really doing anything to fulfill my dreams. So you have a very strong character, you have a very strong mind and soul. And you have crossed the, you know, you have crossed the country, you have crossed the cities, just for you to, you know, fulfill your dreams and uh, take over. Until that, when the time comes that you have already laid, or when you have already delivered the two children for your second spouse, you've taught them all the things that you know that what your first mentor or what your first spouse have taught you as well. Because you want them to have the same kind of knowledge and the same kind of willfulness, okay? And the other thing here is that your two children have been very, you know, strong-willed. And you have managed to have a very big house and, uh, you know, live a luxurious life. Because the two of you, uh, you managed to have your own finances and to have your own lives built up. So you feel like that is the right person for you. And like with the other person that you are just... You know that you just have a very average kind of life and very old-fashioned and uh your for your first spouse just wants a woman who just stays at home and you're not really the kind of person you're very career oriented goal oriented and you want to continuously reach the top of the mountain okay until you can touch the horizon but then right along your journey yet you, you have stumbled upon a lot of obstacles and a lot of dreadfulness and um, you know it's like you also traveled with a very heavy heart and despite of this 
you have managed to reach the peak of your success and of your of your life but something else is missing but despite of that you know that you did not really come back and uh, fulfill your vows or fulfill your promises to to your uh, ex-husband and to your son your son is the one who looked out for you and that is where you have remembered everything that is your wake-up call and that is also with o with all of the open up your eyes that you have been drowned and you have been so blinded with your success for how many years and what happened is that you had with your current spouse or with your second spouse and you've already forgotten that you've had a son and there was you know you've had a spouse way back when who's also waiting for you to come back but you never did now you have gone through some severe drought in your life especially that when your health get deteriorated and you have suffered tremendously that uh, you've expected somebody to take care of you but when your second spouse have found out that you have lied to them or that you have lied to him about the truth they left you and the only person that took care of you is your son that you have left for how many years and there was some nourishment and um returning of returning of your soul uh, sorry returning of your soul to your home um it takes some time for your first spouse to really forgive you but uh, but until your last breath before you die it seems like you have at least receive the um you know receive the um forgiveness of your first spouse but never from the second spouse okay and you have lived with so much regrets and um it's like there is also like a lot of things that you have learned during that time and because of that you have tried to you know, you've tried to reach out or your son have tried to reach out to your second family at the time of your wake or at the time of your burial. And is that, you know, that moment, that is what you haven't really gotten. That you have died with so much regrets in your life. And you have tried to fish for their you know for their love and attention that you have spent more years with your second spouse and with your second family rather than with your first family but the one who stayed by your side at the last uh, at your last breath or the last of your days was actually your your son from the um, first marriage so right now so right now in this lifetime, what are the lessons that you need to learn? You have chosen career rather than love before. And that is also the reason why that you're having a hard time finding the right kind of love that even though you're already with somebody, or even though at this point you're already married with someone, you have a hard time committing or giving yourself to somebody of course that during at the beginning of your courtship or during the beginning of your relationship everything else was happy okay magnificent fabulous and it was like full of life and frivolousness but down the middle you stopped you help you hold back and that is also the reason why the people who's been with you or who is with you right now they don't know what to make out of you or they don't know where to place themselves or they they don't even know why all of a sudden you always hold back or it doesn't even you know um doesn't even um reiterate your whatever that's inside of you it's like you're so unable to express yourself you don't even know if you know you don't even know if the person that you're with at that point is actually the right one. You always have some second thoughts. You always have that um, anxiety inside of you or angst that 
what if like this what if like that you always have some second thoughts but one thing's for sure is that you're always um focused on your career focus in your finances focus on rebuilding you know a, a very good life for yourself and for your family but you will always have a hard time committing to one because you will always look for the you know for the support love and attention and uh, foundation with the second one and the knowledge the mentorship the uh, comfortability and you know the support from the first one that's why you will keep on going back and forth back and forth okay so at this point if you are already with somebody okay who is either an air sign or an earth sign you need to let this person know you need to let this person know about how you you know about how you really feel and if you always have a hard time compromising or committing or even giving yourself to a certain situation don't okay because then you will just keep on living with a lot of regrets and resentments and if you will keep on holding back then you are the one who's just banking more of your you know of your feelings and it will just flood back if you will just keep on holding back and if you would just keep on holding all the things in your life and what you're feeling towards the person then you would at the end of the day and at the end of your life you would just keep on having a lot of regrets so just go for it don't hold back your feelings and just you know honor the commitment that you're in and it w it w and whenever you feel like there is something that you're looking for a support or you're looking for some sort of an understanding from your partner you have to learn how to communicate don't just escape don't just run away and don't just expect them to read you you have to let them know what's going on with you because otherwise you would just be full of regrets and resentments and you would just keep on wasting real people that really counts okay so anyway that's it for you for this um retrograde uh, Virgo and if you want to have this kind of reading just go and visit me at my website this is angel.net you may you may also talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls and Thank you for watching subscribing and sharing my videos in my channel blessings to you